Socrates famously said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And I think psychology really is for all of those people who probably from day one have been asking big pesky questions. It's for people who are curious. It's for people who want to know about themselves, others, the world, and the interaction between all of those factors. Psychology is used not just for understanding the dynamics of the individual, things like creativity and thinking and behaviour, but for understanding bigger systems, how do families work, how do organisations work, how do communities work. Whatever subject you're involved in, whatever discipline, whatever profession, be it teaching, nursing, uh, whether you're a CEO of a large company, psychology gives you an end to understanding lots of different areas of life. The psychology here is taught as part of a joint degree, which, which really opens the doors for, for people who are interested in psychology, but also have a strong interest in another subject. My main area of interest is special needs, um, and I had planned to do occupational therapy, but I took psychology at A-level and got really interested in other areas of psychology. Um, so then I came to BG and decided to do psychology and SENI, because I hadn't seen that as a combination anywhere else. It allows them to use the theory from psychology to reflect on the other subject and allows them to use what they're learning in their other subject, sports perhaps, to understand what's going on in, in the lovely world of psychology. One minute you might be in a large, rather formal lecture setting with, with a relatively large group of students. The next session you might be in a small seminar uh, setting with, with peers discussing theory. Uh, discussing practice, discussing your opinions about what, what you think of what you've just heard in a lecture. You'll be spending some time in the psychology lab, maybe running small experiments, doing some empirical research of your own. So it's quite a busy, varied three years. Everything that we teach on the psychology course here is applied. How would this theory be used in communities? How would this theory be applied in society? How would you apply it in your work setting? How would you apply it as part of your voluntary placement, for example? Psychology graduates tend to pursue what's called the lattice career. So rather than having one ladder up in one particular direction, there's lots of different uh, routes for them to take. I realised that I wanted to be a teacher, so I saw the course at BG, um, Education Studies and Psychology. So I wanted to do, oh, that, that seemed like the obvious choice for me to take. I took psychology because I'm interested in the way people think and how, how they learn and things like that. And because I also have always wanted to be a teacher, I found this course at BG and I decided I'd take it up because it just seemed like the perfect course for me. Some of our psychology graduates will go on to work in schools, in early years settings, in settings for children with special needs. Um, they'll tend to be psychology graduates who have got a particular interest in working with children and understanding behavioural issues of children. So the whole of the educational sector is really quite an open field for psychology graduates. The modules are designed to be aligned with the requirements of the British Psychological Society. So we make sure all the core knowledge that you need uh, for future accreditation by the British Psychological Society are covered and you come out with a very, very firm understanding of all the foundation blocks of, of psychology.